Okay, here we go, we're in new DK. I'll get that out of the way. And I've already imported my mesh. Yeah. Now if you're not too sure what you're doing is you go on import. Now with the blender exporter you will go into here. It exports your PSK and PSA files to your actual where your mesh is saved, your blender file is saved. So we've got an armature PSK, we've got the guard and we've got the test object. Okay, so as you can see here from the dates, I exported that one yesterday, that's that one there. No, it's not, that's the other one. Alright, uh, 16th, what time? We, 16th, yeah, that's the one I done earlier. So we can go that one. Why was why is that changing the names? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Happy as Larry, we got the guy. As you can see here, we have two materials. I'm not doing the materials at the moment. Not really bothered with that. I'm just interested in getting the guy in from Blender and showing you that it does work. Okay. So obviously you're going to have to do import your materials, your rotation and origin needs to be changed as applied. Uh, what, what was that? Minus 51. Let, yeah, let's do it while we're here. And your minus 90. All standard settings, so it's facing along the x-axis. Now if I go into anims and I select the K anim human base male. You may recognize these animations. Okay. Now, if I do a run forward, you can see my terrible skin in there. But that's a run forward animation. Now, if you like this one that I like, which is slit throat, yee. You can again see that my skinning's going for a bag of yeah. Uh, some errors there for some reason. I'm not too sure why. But I believe that is probably more me than UDK. Uh, uh, it seems to have a bad problem there. Yeah, I can. I think I know what it is. It's because of something that I done on the skinning, and I probably haven't saved it, and then re-exported re everything. Anyway, right. While we're here, well, let's get back into the mix because that looks a better one. <laughs> okay. Right. What do we need to do now? All right. To so import your animations, we go onto File. Alright, new anim set. Uh, I've already made up an anim set, but we'll just go in like that. I uh, just call it let it be called new anim set because we're not going to do anything with this actual model. And we're going to go import PSA. Now we've got, if we look at the dates, date and times, we have got three PSA files for some reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import them all and see what we get. Uh, yeah, yeah. I get one. Now the reason why I get one is because when it exports it each animation has a name and because it's single animations Blender will give it the same name. So rename sequence uh, anim underscore zero one. That'll do. Alright, let's see what that does. Wee, wee. You see that? That works. Alright, import PSA. Right, this is obviously a different one. Now, I don't do anything. Now there is something somewhere. Alright, 
rename sequence anim zero one sitting now looking at that that's going to be about ooh, 10 frames import PSA and go for that last one and that's the same as that one okay so it does work now why it, it why it exported 11 frames instead of just the two that I wanted see frame count I don't know I'm gonna have to re, re dig into this and try again but that's pretty much the blender to UDK character animation pipeline okay and just do your best to uh, do a better job of skinning now I'm going to have to go back and learn a bit more about blender skinning as well but uh, I think that'll do for the moment everybody's seen that it all works how to get everything in uh, let me just save that not that we're going to use it but we can save it anyway you never know okay so I'll leave it at that and I'll see you soon take care now bye bye